Okay, uh, uh, my estudiantes de español, this is a video that will uh, try to reinforce and to teach um, how to go about the subject pronouns and then also how to conjugate ser. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we need to know our subject pronouns. So the subject pronouns are I, you, he, and she. And then we, you, and they. Okay? Those are the subject pronouns that we're going to work with for now. So, this is known as the first person. You is known as the second person. And uh, el, I mean he or she is known as the third person. This is the singular category, just one person involved. Now, if we were to make this into what looks kind of like a grid, I have on this side singular, and over here I have plural. If I add anybody to I, it is we, John, Bill, and I. We went to the park. You, plural, is you, okay? So you, singular, I want you to take out a pencil. You, plural, talking to a whole class. I want you, or you guys, or y'all, to take out a pencil. One person, more than one person. He, they. If I have two he's, Bill and Jim, they are going to the park. Two she's, Maria and uh, Juana, they are going to the uh, nail polish salon or whatever. <laughs> they, okay? Now we have to learn what these words mean or how to say these words in the other language. So, I is yo. You is the two. El, he, ella, she. We, that word is nosotros. You, plural, is vosotros, used only in Spain. They would be ellos for all guys or a guys and girls combo, in other words, mixed groups. Ellas is used for just all girls. Okay, there's one more over here, and that is you formal is grouped with the third person singular, he and she. You formal is usted, just like you learned in the first chapter. Como estas? How are you? To a friend. Como esta usted? How are you? To a family member. I mean, I'm sorry, not a family member. To a, uh, a teacher, for example. Someone you're showing formality to. The plural of this would be you plural, and that would be ustedes. Please keep in mind that ustedes is used for you all or you guys everywhere in the world except in Spain, in which case they use vosotros. Okay, so that's the subject pronoun. So that's part one. We must memorize these words. Part two is knowing what the verb ser means. Ser means to be. Okay, in the sentence, I am tall, I am tall. You do not say, yo ser tall, or alto. This would be, I to be tall. So what we need to do is we need to conjugate the verb ser. Conjugating it means to change it to its proper form in order to correspond with the subject pronoun. So it's not I to be tall, it's I am tall. So what's the word for am? So that's where we get into this next business over here. I'm going to recreate my subject pronoun list. Yo, tu, el, ella, or usted. All three of those. Over here I have nosotros. These should just be memorized. Vosotros, and ellos, ellas, ustedes. Okay, we're going to make our grid again just so we can kind of visualize this. And we'll go like this. And we'll go like this. 
Now, if I want to say I am, as stated before, it's not yo ser, you have to say yo soy. The two form is eres. In other words, the two form of ser is eres. The el, ella, or usted form is s. So this is how you say in Spanish, I am, you are, he is, she is, or you are formal. So in other words, these are three conjugations of the verb ser. Am, is, and are. Nosotros is somos. Now listen close here. Please note, there are multiple ways of saying are. This is are, and so is this. But eres only goes with tu. Somos only goes with nosotros. These are not interchangeable. You cannot say tu somos, and you cannot say nosotros eres. So yes, there are lots of different ways of saying are, but it depends on which one you need to go with the right subject pronoun. Vosotros is sois, that's you plural are, you guys. And then they are would be son. They are ellos son, ellas son, or you guys plural son. So please memorize these. Yo soy, tú eres, él es, nosotros somos, vosotros sois, ellos, ellas, ustedes son. Okay, there's two pieces of knowledge here. The subject pronoun and the conjugated form of the verb ser. So that's what we have learned so far in this lesson. So you have to memorize the subject pronouns just in general, and you also have to memorize what the conjugated form of ser is. Because once again, you don't just say I to be tall, yo ser tall. You've got to say yo soy alto means tall. Okay, gracias.